Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and yes, now this is time for week three of my yellow jacket container slash tank. Well, it will be a tank, it's still container right now. If you have not watched my previous videos on this topic, go back to the last couple weeks and you'll see what was going on. But essentially, one night I found a yellow jacket nest and I decided to capture it. Yellow jackets are a kind of wasp. And wasps eat spiders and stuff like that. At least that's what I've been told. So, hey, we got black widow spiders. We'll get these yellow jackets. It'll take care of them, right? Well, not exactly. As a quick refresher, the adult yellow jackets eat pollen and nectar and things like that, high in sugar content. And the larvae eat meat, bugs, and spiders. So the adults go catch spiders and bugs and feed it to the larvae. One of the things you will notice in this video is that these yellow jackets are still very attentive to the nest, so that means they need some bugs. I can't exactly let these demons out, because if they're out, though, there will be hell to pay, because they were pretty PO'd when I captured them, because these, these are horrible creatures. Remember, they are not good pollinators. They do not produce honey. They, they sting you multiple times. They do not die after they sting you. They're, like I said, just horrible creatures. And as you can see, we have some pear in there, and they are just liking the real sweet pear. That's what they're eating. They are good with that, but we need something for the larva. So I captured a spider. So we're putting a spider in here. This is one of those common garden spiders around here. There's a million of them. There's way too many. These are the kind of spiders that are walking down the path. They string the webs across the path, and you get a face full of it. Ah, ooh, horrible spiders. So what you're going to see today is hopefully you will see yellow jackets hunting a spider. I hope so. And I will stop talking for a while and let you just watch what happens. Uh, you guys like it better that way, right?
Okay, this is not exactly working out how I expected it to be. I figured they needed to feed the, the baby yellow jackets, the larvas. They would just be on this bug. They really don't care about it. So the spider's in here slinging some web, doing his thing. The spider's more concerned about being in this see-through container than with all these yellow jackets swarming around. Kind of disappointing because we have a nest here and the larva, the baby yellow jackets, need to eat something. And as I've mentioned, I'm going to transfer these into a bigger container, a tank, pretty much the same size, or probably a little bigger than the Black Widow tank we have going. I've already got the tank, and I've just got to get some stuff to set it up before I can figure out how to turn these demons loose in the tank. Okay, so this was week three. I mean, it was pretty cool. You got to see some wasps, some yellow jackets. I guess some people around the world call these meat bees. They are neither uh, bees, and as you can see here, they're not eating meat, but yeah. So the next mission I'm going to have is we're going to get these into a bigger container that I'm going to set up, that big tank, and hopefully we'll do that next week. All right, so everybody's got a cool Yellow Jacket story? Share it in the comment section of this video. Yellow Jackets are horrible, <laughs> horrible. And, and, you know, really catching these things was taking my life in my hands. Literally. All right, so I'll leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>